for everything scary, um, GM haunts, and today I'm going to be sharing my animatronic improp wish list for the Halloween 2021 season. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a relatively big video. Um, it's sort of big, but not gigantic. It more is like, um, I guess a little sneak peek into my future for the rest of the, or at least my future of the Halloween 2021 season and what I plan to be purchasing. Now, I know I've been getting a lot of direct messages and emails and a lot of comments asking me what other animatronics I will be purchasing for this season. Well, for today's video, I'm going to be posting a, an entire breakdown of my entire wish list for this upcoming Halloween season. The things I have yet to buy and the things that I want to have by the end uh, of the season. But by probably November 1st, when I look back, I'll say I got to buy everything I had on my list. So today, I'm going to be telling you everything that I've had my eye on and everything that I plan to be purchasing and everything that you should expect to see on the channel when I get it and you'll get to see an unboxing and a review, all types of uh, videos on the stuff that I do want to purchase on my list. Now, I want to give a few um, disclaimers. Number one, I might not get everything on my list. Uh, I don't have infinite money. I wish I did, that'd be awesome, because I'd probably just buy every uh, Halloween animatronic there was. Um, but I don't have infinite money, so don't expect maybe I get certain things and not other things, because I end up not having enough money to get it all. But I most likely will have enough, maybe we'll see. Again, never know what's really going to happen, but hopefully I do. Number two, I tend to really change what I want to buy, so uh, expect to not to not see everything on this list that I buy, and maybe I'll buy something else instead of something that was on my list. So again, don't expect my list to be 100% accurate, this is just what my list is currently, and it could change within the next couple of weeks. Number three, there are a few things listed on there that I already purchased, um, which I'll get to that in a second, but I guess without further ado, let's get to my list. Alright, so my list is not going to go in any uh, numerical order, like one over the other. I kind of just want all of these um, equally. So starting off, I have uh, the Uncle Charlie doll from Spirit Halloween, brand new for the 2021 season. And I actually have something interesting about this. I did just order the Uncle Charlie doll online. Um, and he obviously, he's on pre-order. He isn't supposed to ship out until September 15th. But I ordered him. So technically, he's on my wish list. But I ordered him, so basically I already have him, which is why I mentioned in the beginning that some of these things on my wishes I already have, kind of, because I ordered him, so I do have him coming, but this was something on my wish list. I love the Uncle Charlie doll, obviously. I bought the remake Uncle Charlie animatronic that came out last year, the Flashback Friday version, and I just recently ordered the doll version that came out for this year. Super, super excited for him. I love uh, the style to him. I love all the animatronic dolls that Spirit has, uh, that Spirit has released so far. But I think the Uncle Charlie doll is probably my favorite because I love that little, how they took the latex face and made it into the littler uh, plastic face that he has. I really, really love that. Um, I love his little, his little feet. I love his little outfit. Even though he doesn't feature the candy bucket, I really love the look of him and I really love how they were able to condense it into a little version. Now, I know there's also a Crouchy doll coming up for this year. I will also be purchasing the Crouchy doll um, to go with this guy because I think both of them are really, really neat. Uh, 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 unfortunately, though, the Crouchy Doll has not released online yet, so I can't pre-order him. He was available at Flagship on opening day. I think there were two of them, um, and some people bought him. But he isn't available online yet. But as soon as he goes up, I will be pre-ordering him just yet. I cannot do that because he's not up. But Uncle Charlie Doll is on his way, and I'm on his list uh, for getting him as soon as he starts to be shipped out from pre-order. But now, let's take a look at the next thing on my wish list. Alright, so next on my list is another item from Spirit Halloween. Most of them are on my list because I think I really love their stuff this year. Um, as always, most of the stuff I have is Spirit. But next thing on my list is actually a piece that is featured in the Halloween Factory um, IC this year. Both of them, the factory floor and the assembly line. And this is the 5 foot Digidai Hanging Skeleton. Now, I really, really love this guy. It's just a hanging skeleton, I know. Um, obviously, they've had hanging skeletons for years and years and years. But for this year, Spirit is actually selling a one, a digitized one that was manufactured by SVI 
It's just a hanging skeleton, but it features digital eyes, um, LCD eyes, um, just like Peekaboo Clown. Instead, the one on this is just basically like a, a static blinking image where the eye kind of looks around and then blinks. Now again, th this guy is featured in the themes this year um, as like workers, and you can see him in the theme with the blinking eyes. Now, I know they've had big shipping issues right now, uh, and he's kind of under that same problem because uh, as of what, as of far as I know, none of my friends have been able to find a selling one yet. So even though they have him in the theme, I'm waiting for them to get the selling one because if you didn't know, you'll actually be able to buy him um, on shelves too. So he'll be featured in the themes, but then he'll also be in packaging on shelves. He's retailing for $59.99, 60 United States dollars, which I think is a fantastic price because the hanging ones are also very similar uh, in price. And this guy features also LCD eyes. Really, really love the look of this guy. I think the, the blinking eyes make it that much cooler, and I think he would look awesome in the right lighting. So I definitely hope to pick this guy up. Now let's take a look at the next thing on my wish list. So the next thing on my wish list is a little bit strange, I'll admit, and I might get um, some confusion about this, but it is Wacky Mole Clown from Spirit Halloween. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. Why would you get Wacky Mole Clown when you have the original one and it's basically the same? Now, I was under the same thinking as you. Um, a about a week ago, I was under the same thinking, saying, I'm not going to get it because it's basically a re-release, it's the same thing. Well, after seeing a bunch of different unboxings of other people's new Wacky Mole getting it this year, and then going to Flagship this year, and then seeing him again in my local store, I kind of decided that I want to buy him. Now, the reason I say this is because even though he has the same look on the outside, basically, there are a few slight cosmetic differences that convince me enough to buy him. First of all, he has plastic shoes now. The original feature, that classic SVI foam shoes that was terrible quality. He has plastic shoes now. A Spirit, or actually I should say SVI, the manufacturer of him, changed the uh, the quality and the material that they use on his outfit and, and kind of pants. It's a more thick material than it is um, on the original version. I could feel it in my local store and I could definitely feel that. They also made the neon paint a little bit different. He's not as UV reactive as he was on the other one. Most likely that accounts to why it's a thicker material, it's not as UV reactive. Another thing, they made his mechanism better. Obviously, the original Wacky Mole was made in 2013. It's 2021. Eight years later, they're going to have better mechanisms. And SVI did use a much better mechanism on the new one, which makes him a lot better quality, makes him move a lot faster. Um, and this kind of also ties into, they gave him a brand new control box and speaker, which makes him a lot louder and a lot more menacing, a lot better than the crappy speaker we got on the 2013 model. Lastly, um, his face is latex now. Now, I did not know this until about a week ago when I went to my store and actually saw it. Now, obviously, the original Wacky Mole is like a plastic blow mold kind of material. The new one has a plastic shell underneath of it, but the outer layer is actually made out of latex. Now, what that does is the eyebrows are actually made of latex and the whole rest of the head has a plastic shell that let it keep its shape, but it's a different material. Now, with all these things adding up, I honestly thought this new Wacky Mole is better. He has a better speaker that's a lot louder and he has a better mechanism, making him better quality, which kind of convinced me I might as well just buy the new one. So, again, don't quote me on it. I might not be able to if I can try. I'm going to try to pick him up. Everything on this list is something I want to buy and I'm going to try my hardest to get. So you better believe I will be trying to get the new Wacky Mole Clown for 2021 and I will be displaying him next to my original Wacky Mole. Now let's take a look at the next thing on my Halloween 2021 wish list. Wish list is the last spirit product that I have on my list here. Um, the next, the last item is a different company, but this is Night Stalker. Now I know if you watch my ranking video, I didn't rank Night Stalker so highly. I believe I only put him at good animatronic. But within the recent trips of me going to my local store um, and seeing him in person once again after seeing him at Flagship, I didn't really get a great look at him at Flagship because there were so many people. But seeing him again in my local store, they just recently added him a couple days ago. And then I saw him yesterday um, when I went for my trip number four, which I did a walkthrough of that. You should definitely go check that out. I've been starting to love Night Stalker and he's really been starting to grow on me. Um, Again, I wasn't so fond of him when I saw his uh, demo video, but seeing him in person, I really, really like him now. I love the detail on his face. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The motion, yeah, it's simple. He only has one twitching head motion, but honestly, I think it, 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 it's simplistic, and I think it really, um, I don't know, I think, uh, I think it just, it gets the character across, and it's sort of more creepy that that's the only thing he does. Um, and I really, really like that. I think the detailing on his arms are really cool, and I love the look of the kind of, uh, post 
with its arms on it. I really, really like how that looks. I think the laughing is one of the best audios we've gotten on a Scarecrow animatronic. Maybe my favorite audio we've gotten on a Scarecrow animat animatronic in recent years. I love that laughing. It's super loud in stores. That speaker on it is fantastic, and it is very, very creepy. He's manufactured by YJ. You can tell this from the, his eyes. He has those classic YJ eyes with the, all the different lines in them, uh, like Bloody Bag of Jokes and Pumpkin Nester and Little Nester. The list goes on, the amount of animatronics that use that. Uh, but overall, I, he's really, really grown on me, and he's only $179.99, 180 bucks, United States dollars. Uh, so I'm definitely going to try to pick Night Stalker up if my store gets a sale one. He's really grown on me, and even though he's only 5 feet tall, he's not the biggest animatronic. I think he's really, really cool. And in red lighting, like he is featured in, in the back scene, the Halloween factory floor, I think he looks absolutely fantastic, and I very much hope to get him. Let's take a look at the next item on my wish list. So the last item on my Halloween 2021 wish list is not a spirit product, and this is a Home Depot product. So if you watch a lot of my videos recently, particularly the Home Depot videos uh, of the leaks, the official reveals, and then my ranking of their lineup, you know that I absolutely love the LED Pumpkin Twins. Well, they are on my wish list, uh, the Pumpkin Twins from Home Depot. I think these are such a cool set of animatronics. Two animatronics for the price of one, they are in the same set. They are the two pumpkin trick-or-treaters. They talk to each other, they interact, and I absolutely love them for their price tag of $79.99, 80 United States dollars. I think the price on them is one of the best price animatronics we've gotten in recent years. I love the look to them. I think they are so unique. I love their pumpkin sculpts because they match each other but at the same time have a unique look. I love their outfits. I love their audio of them saying trick or treat and I love the little trick or treat bags that they're holding in front of them. I think this is such a cool set of animatronics. Obviously, we don't get a ton of Scarecrow pumpkin animatronics from Halloween companies, but I think these this set of pumpkins is easily one of the best that we've gotten from any Halloween company, and this is probably within my top three favorites from Home Depot's 2021 lineup. I think they did absolutely fantastic on this one with Seasonal Visions International, their manufacturer. I think they look great. I love the red LEDs that really make the pumpkin glow. I love the moving mouth they have, and I think they feature so many different things for the price tag of $79.99, and I think they are so fairly priced for the amount of things they do, the size of them, these LEDs, and the amazing audio they featured. I think Home Depot and SVI hammered it home and really gave us a home run animatronic for the 2021 season. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up my wish list for the Halloween 2021 season. Once again, expect, not, expect everything I get not to match exactly with what I just told you. It all depends on a lot of things. If I have enough money, again, most likely I will have enough money. I've I really accounted for everything, so I should have enough to buy everything on my wish list. But even not talking about money, I might change my mind on certain things once I get to see them in person again. Um, this is my current wish list as of this current moment, which I am filming this on um, August 26, 2021. Now. My opinion can change on these animatronics, it could be different, it could stay the same, I really don't know, and I can maybe even end up picking up more than I originally think, I don't know, we are just going to have to keep an eye out and see what I actually end up purchasing for Halloween 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts, I see you guys later for more Halloween 2021 videos, goodbye.